As a dietitian who works mostly with dancers, I get a lot of questions. One of the big questions that I frequently get is, if a dancer is injured, or maybe they're on layoff, or maybe they're going through a time period where they're just not dancing as much as they were, how should they change their diet? Sometimes we go through times in our life where our energy needs or our caloric needs are gonna change over time, and that's okay. When you're injured or when you're on layoff, or if you're not dancing at the peak the way you were two months ago, you might need to cut back just a little bit. So that's when we have to make really strategic choices. I still want to focus on my message of smaller, more frequent meals. Don't go for too long without eating. But maybe we don't have the wiggle room in our eating plan for the day to have a little extra french fries. Or maybe we have a little bit of a treat that's something that we wouldn't normally have. When we're on layoff or when we're injured is the time when we have to be making really smart strategic choices about what we eat. So focusing on lots of fruits and vegetables, not eliminating whole grains, still get some oatmeal, still have a piece of toast, that's fine, still have a reasonable serving of pasta. All of that is okay, but maybe we don't need to have the extras, like the fettuccine sauce on the pasta, or a bunch of butter on our mashed potatoes, for example. Mashed potatoes are fine when you're on layoff, maybe the butter not so much. If you're injured with a stress fracture or any kind of bone issue, make sure you're getting plenty of calcium from leafy greens, from almonds, from soy milk, from soy, from all kinds of a big wide variety of sources. Don't just overly focus on getting your calcium and vitamin D from dairy. Make sure that you're getting plenty of um, fruits and vegetables as well, like broccoli, for example, is a nice source of calcium. Um, sesame seeds, another source of calcium. So eat smart, don't starve yourself, eat smaller, more frequent meals, and make sure if you have a specific type of injury, make sure that you're feeding the body what it needs to get back on track.